So there's not a lot of things that I do not like about Unreal Engine 4, but there is this one thing that I absolutely hate with using Unreal Engine 4, especially with importing animations, and that is the compression of animations or compressing of animations. If you've seen previous videos about this, you know I hate the fact that you have to wait a long time when importing animations like FBX animations or in my case motion capture animations inside Unreal Engine 4. Now I use two method. I import via FBX and I also do a live link connection like you guys seen before. So today what I'm going to do is show you guys a way. It's pretty quick. It's just a setting that you can change when importing FBX animations that it's just going to speed up, hopefully speed up your process as far as importing your animation. Okay, so I have here is a simple scene of our favorite robot here in just an HDR environment, nothing too fancy. I have Axis Neuron, which is the software that I use for my motion capture device. And I have this animation here that I captured for my previous short film. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, made 100% in the Neural Engine 4, and that's what you're looking at now. Now, this is six. 6,600 keyframes. Now for this, I actually ended up using a live link capture or sequence recorder like I've showed you guys in a video before, but I really don't like doing that. I rather import animations using FBX. To me, that's just a better way. It's a, a lot cleaner to be honest. And if you have a slower device, recording live via live link might not be feasible so for majority of you guys out there you're probably going to want to import animations instead okay so i have access neuron here and i'm just going to export this entire animation from this software export and i'm going to do the entire series and i'm going to change this to binary and i'm just going to put that in a folder and we're going to export the entire thing now obviously you don't have to do this, but I'm kind of just showing you uh, the difference here. So I'm going to minimize this. And I also have Neuron Live Link enabled because that's what I use. And I actually use the skeleton that they provide here, which is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And all I got to do now is drag and drop this static 5 megs animation in Unreal Engine 4. Okay, I'm going to drag and drop it here. And I'm going to go choose the Studio Robot Skeleton from Neuron, Axis Neuron. And if you see right here in Custom Sample Rate, by default, this is zero. Okay. And I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to do it like just regular default setting and leave that to zero. And I'm going to do import animation uh, rotation to 90 because... Like you've seen before, it's pretty much rotated, so I have to compensate for that rotation. And I'm going to save this first. Actually, let me save it first because I know it's going to crash it. You know how I know? Because I did the same exact thing when using it for that short film, and I waited 12 hours, and it just crashed. So I know it's going to crash. So I'm going to save it. Drag and drop. It's zero, everything is default. I'm gonna choose the Studio Robot Skeleton, 90 import rotation, and that's it. So I'm gonna get, click import. Okay, so this is gonna be importing that FBX animation. And as you can see, there's 216,636 keys. Now, when I let this run with just the default import options, I couldn't do it. And that is why I had to do the live link method of me running live link and using a sequence recorder to record the animation for that movie. Okay, so as you can see, it is taking forever. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just cancel this because I'm going to show you by changing that sample rate, it's ridiculous. Okay, now I don't know the downsides, but as far as I can see and I can tell, the animation still looks good. So this is going to crash it, so I'm going to be right back. Okay, so we're back. I went ahead and control alt deleted and just went back to the project. Because now what we're going to do is change that sample rate. I'm going to go here. I'm going to drag the same file. Okay. Minimize. Choose that skeleton. And change this to about 60. 
custom sample rate 60. Nothing else is going to be changed and watch. Right? So you can see there's less keys. It's only 6K, but it's the same exact animation. Now if I close this and I go in here, you're going to see that we're back at 6,600 keys. And this is the entire animation, and it loaded in what, 12 seconds? So you see, this is the entire animation for that short. And I can fast forward, and you can see absolutely nothing wrong with importing that way and oh my god this right here if it's working for you guys let me know in the comments below because i know a lot of people from iclone who don't have the live link they have to import animation using fbx so i'm hoping uh rosuck media let me know if this works for you buddy <laughs> so i'm hoping you guys you know you would use this and it would help and would work and the reason why i like this method is because i can now go create a sequence add this guy here oh sorry i don't i gotta retarget first uh so i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna go back here and i'm gonna right click retarget anim and I'm going to use the row bro skeleton. Both are in T-Post. We target. And now if I go to sequencer, and this is compression animation right now, as you can see, and it's finished. All right, it's done. Animation, static. I'm going to delete this one. And there you go. Just like that. Just like that. Now you have the entire FBX loaded. Okay, and obviously it's going to cut it in half because I have at 30 frames per second here. Okay, look at this. Oh, man. That's so cool. All right, well, that was just a quick tutorial because uh, I'm trying to help uh, Rosuck Media out, guys. Uh, yeah, dude, let me know if this works for you. If not, we'll take a look at the plugin option as well. All right.